Hello, my name is Bill Backus. I am the preservationist for the Prince William County Office of Historic Preservation, part of the Department of Parks, Recreation and Tourism. Uh, the Office of Histo Historic Preservation partners with many county agencies in fulfilling our mission, uh, including the, the planning office, the planning department. And in uh, commemoration for Archaeology Month, we've been joined with the county archaeologist Justin Patton uh, to talk about archaeology in Prince William County. Well, thank you, Bill, for that introduction. My name is Justin Patton. I'm the county archaeologist, and my offices are in the planning office. Probably the first question that we get is, what is archaeology? Archaeology is the study of material culture of human activity. So we don't deal with dinosaur bones and all of that things as much too old. But we do deal with human culture and artifacts. And artifacts are sometimes things like a brick or a piece of bottle bottom. Artifacts help us tell the story of the stories of people that don't have documents, like slaves or poor indentured white servants. And they also help us inform what we find in the archival record, in that historical record, and help tell a much fuller story of our shared history. So one of the other things that I wanted to talk about today was what's the process in Prince William County? How is archeology span done? There's so much information out there that it's impossible for me to do it all. So we work with our development community through our rezoning and our special use permitting process. And we work with developers to get them to do archeology, span to hire consultants and perform archeological span work within their pro development project area and do that prior to they begin their construction. They do that in a number of phases. Uh, there's an identification phase, see if there's anything there. Sometimes there isn't, and all, work, all the archaeology work will stop. Sometimes there is, and sometimes they need to go on to different phases or additional phases. So it a, it's a, can be a very long and involved process. Um, it's pretty detailed. It involves a lot of different methods. Sometimes we use remote sensing. We use ground penetrating radar, or we use EM studies. Other times we use just plain old shovels and screens and dig a sampling strategy across a project area. And then we also do those nice, neat little excavation squares that you've seen probably on TV and in Indiana Jones movies. So we've already talked about when archaeology is done, but sometimes archaeology isn't required. And that's most often under what we call by right development in the planning office. That's when there is land that is already zoned for development, and they can go in and build that to that particular zoning. And unfortunately, I, we don't have any jurisdiction over that type of development. So once those excavations are completed, the report has been submitted to the planning office, it's been reviewed and it's been approved, all of those artifacts and all of that documentation and all of that archival research all gets compiled and boxed up, and we ship it off to our Office of Historic Preservation so that they can accession those items and store them. So once uh, the Office of Historic Preservation um, receives these, these artifacts, uh, we, we curate them. Uh, so we, we go through and we look at all the documentation that comes along with uh, the objects to make sure we have everything, uh, because the documentation is, is also as important as the objects themselves. The objects are, are very important to, to tell the stories of peoples in the past, uh, but we need to know the information associated with uh, these objects, because uh, this brick by itself is important, but if we know exactly where this brick was and what was found around well, along with that brick, uh, there is the ability to, to paint a bigger story, to try and figure out actually what's happening in this area uh, during different time periods in the past. So uh, along with the objects, uh, part of the documentation that is uh, donated along to the, uh, the county are all the field notes, so all the notes that the archaeologists are taking in the midst of an archaeological dig. Um, we have that final report like Justin mentioned. Uh, we also have an inventory of all uh, the objects. And so the objects come in bags like this so we know exactly where to find a particular object if, if we need to find something. And it also shows exactly where these objects were found in a particular location for the archaeological dig. Uh, again, this is very important to, to really piece to, 
together these stories to, uh, to tell a bigger picture. And we have these objects in our uh, storage collection area uh, for future reference. Uh, future archaeological surveys might need these um, objects to, to reference for uh, more information for, for a current dig or for historians or other type of archaeologists or other types of, of um, people who are doing studies about Prince William County. They can use the archaeological remains to, to help paint a bigger story. Um, and again, um, some of the objects that we find are, are pretty neat. Uh, so sometimes the objects include a, a full horseshoe or a, a tobacco pipe or a domino like this. But generally, most archaeological surveys find um, building materials. So stuff that in themselves really aren't important, like a brick or a nail or a piece of ceramic. But if you are able to date these nails or these ceramics to within a couple decades and you figure out where they're found and what they're found with, we can date if there was a building at a particular time period at this area or if there was a Civil War camp. We can, with archaeological uh, surveys and, and archival research, we can pinpoint generally when that uh, camp was, was in place to at least a couple of months, if not a couple of weeks or a couple of days. So archaeology is incredibly important uh, for historians today and in the future uh, to kind of tell stories about people in the past, especially stories of people who aren't fortunate enough to create uh, written records that are uh, surviving in archives today. So these, these digs allow voiceless people to, to have their history shared for future generations. Uh, researchers can have access to uh, these objects to um, compare uh, objects found in a previous archaeological study with a current archaeological study. Um, and also, we try to use many of these objects in our museum exhibits uh, throughout county managed historic sites at like Brentsville and at Ripon Lodge and at, at Bristow. Um, but also if you are a citizen and you are interested in wanting to uh, learn more about uh, archaeology in, in Prince William County, uh, you can contact the Office of Historic Preservation and we can set up a time uh, to, to tour our storage area. Thank you for, for watching this video and hopefully you've learned more about archaeology and historic preservation in action in Prince William County. That hopefully either piques your interest or, or just informs you as, as a better citizen. Uh, if you have uh, questions, feel free to contact either the Office of Historic Preservation or the County Planning Office for more information on archaeological surveys and studies in our county. If you like this video, we we'll continue to uh, highlight interesting history aspects and historic uh, preservation techniques uh, ongoing in, in our community. So please like and subscribe to the YouTube uh, channel and also follow us on our various social media pages. Thank you.